Curious about the price of a Magic Online card? Try our searchable price guide on the right sidebar of any mtgoacademy.com page. Hey everyone, it's Chris, MTGO's Rex Start. We're back with Hesper Stoneblade Battles. And um, I am on the play. I'm going to keep this one. See what my opponent's got. He is deciding on his mulligan. I figure um, turn one Thoughtseize, and I have Force of Will up. Um, I would not like to use that because it's the only threat in my hand, but uh, this build is a little more controlly, and I have that Supreme Verdict in hand if I can live to that point. So that's not bad. So let's see what he's got. Okay, Brainstorm Spell Pierce, two Lightning Bolts in a Daze. Um, I think... I don't want him dazing my true name nemesis. Um, I'm tempted to take the Brainstorm too. Since I right now I can force a will that exile in the Supreme Verdict, because Supreme Verdict isn't looking like it's going to be super relevant against him. He'll probably have his own true name nemesis, because I think he's blue, white, red um, from this, but... Uh, I'm gonna play. Uh, I could take if I took his spell pierce, then I could be sure of resolving my true name by forcing his days if that's what he goes, or I could just take the days and resolve it. Um, so we're gonna take the yeah, we're gonna take the days. Oh, there's a ponder. I think I shall ponder. Uh, Mistress Factory, a Brainstorm, and another True Name Nemesis. Um, probably like all of those. What do I want to have in hand right now? Well, I can't cast another Brainstorm. Um, just have the other True Name Nemesis in hand. Then next turn, draw the Mistress Factory, leave the Brainstorm. Um, yeah, okay. Or I'll just keep the other two names in. Yeah, okay. So um, I'll put the. Oh, he did draw a wasteland. Bastard. Okay. Was hoping it would not come to that. So I'll play that tundra. So I know that I have another. Oh, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> Dude, you're you're hurting me so bad. God, he just ripped double wasteland. He had any wastelands in his opener, and he rips double wasteland. Oh, of course I don't have another freaking blue. Um, are you kidding me, boy? Um, all right, crying out loud. What it? Oh. No Wastelands in his opening hand, hasn't played a single cantrip, and he just ripped double Wasteland to, to wreck both my blue sources. This is the... This is... <laughs> it's a freaking kind of day.
got to be kidding me, man. No Wasteland's in his opener. And he rips double Wasteland, runner, runner, to kill both my blue sources. With, without any cantrip until this turn. It's not like he searched him up or anything like that. And, well, oh, that'll be good. No. <laughs> he just he just got there. Stoneforge Mystic. Um... Does he have a true name nemesis in his hand? No, he doesn't. I think I'm going to force that with um, God, You're killing me. And of course, of course, he found his off of the single cantrip that he cast naturally. Naturally, that occurred. He, he drew every single relevant spell he needed to draw. It... <laughs> because why not? Well, that's all it takes to make your deck look fantastic is just rip the perfect um, <laughs> few cards off the top of the deck, and uh, you too can look like um, blue, white, red. Uh, your Delver is just freaking awesome. So, do I have to force that? Pete's sake. Probably nowhere near casting any of these things. You gotta be kidding me, bro! <laughs> God, yeah. Th if if he doesn't just rip blind, runner, runner, wasteland, this is a completely different match. So I, you, I don't think you can look at this at all and think that blue, white, red Delver is like this uh, is somehow way superior here. Um, well, I can't cast Supreme Verdict yet. That's like basically what I'm drawing out to here, so, um, you know, I need, um, another white source. I'm going to have to brainstorm here, and I did find one, but unfortunately, getting there puts me to three, which allows him to use one of his um, lightning bolts to finish me off. In fact, he has two, so it doesn't matter. There's no point even really showing him that I have that, so I'm going to concede. Um, so... I think I like bringing in that additional counter magic. Probably a disenchant against his equipment. Um, I'm I'm definitely more controlled than he is. Um, like it's I, do I even want V clicks here? 
right now. Probably want to keep this in against his Delvers. And, mm, I don't know. Like this sword, probably better. And Snapcasters. out Jace is bad against people with true names I'll take that out and um, maybe throw in that um, throw in that Vindicate I mean, just give me something additional to hit or I could throw in Detention Sphere instead um Keep my blue count up. Okay. Um, yeah, this has some play to it. Let's see. Okay. Well, what I predict happening here is that I will play Stoneforge Mystic and he will Lightning Bolt it. So, my question is then, do I have anything to be gained by just waiting? Um, like, I guess I could just wait a turn um, and then uh, and then play True Name next turn and have Force Backup for my True Name Nemesis. No, I think, oh, of course, if I have to fetch here, I could fetch a basic swamp with this, um, but then I'm not having enough blue. Um, I'm going to protect that. I want to wait. I don't want to get wasted out. Okay, um, will he have stifles? Um, the uh, uh, Owen Turtenwald, who popularized Blue White Red, did not play them um, at the the Grand Prix last fall, so probably not. Um, I guess I can always wait here. Uh, there's no need to fed, crack it right now. Um, okay. Well, I could always just uh, V-click like end of his turn, but I'm gonna have to play something here. Well, I could do that, or I could just go all in on trying to resolve this true name nemesis right now. But then my problem is, like, say he wins the counter war, like I force it, he spell pierces, then um, follows up with a wasteland on my C, and then it's just brutal from there. So I'm going to pass the turn. He's going to brainstorm there. <laughs> All right, well, he doesn't have any mana up now, so I could certainly click here and definitely get that to resolve because he doesn't um, so that's because he can't play a spell pierce so would be one way See what he's got. 
All right, well, he does have a waste, which um, that is unfortunate. But let's say that's going to be his play. What I want to get out of here. He's got two removal spells. Um, I'm gonna, probably going to have to eat, just eat the fact that he's going to be able to use one on the click. Unfortunately, because he has two of them. Um, I can take his force of will, but um, I think he's going to be able to... Um, I don't know. Well, no, 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 no. Because next turn, it depends which of these he eats. But I'm probably gonna eat the tundra. Well, whichever one he eats, I can resolve Stoneforge Mystic the following turn. So if I get rid of one of his removal spells, then I can at least force Stoneforge to stick. So I'm gonna get rid of Lightning Bolt here. Okay, so um, I can either try to protect the, the V-click here, um, or accept that that's going to go and just have a forcible backup for my later play. Um, so he's got spell pierce, he's got his own force. If I try to force here, he can force back. Um, okay, he's going to cut me from black and then play a Delver. Flusterstorm, that's no good. Okay, so I can resolve my Stone Forge, and if he hasn't ripped another removal spell, then we're all right. The Batter Skull, or do I get the Sword? Batter Skull relies on her living to play the thing. Sword could at some point be played, but I don't think that's likely. Let's get the batter skull. I right, did not flip the delver. And thankfully, he doesn't have another wasteland. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything going on here either, so. Okay, he again doesn't flip the Delver, but he's going to go ahead and um, shuffle there. And he ponders. I don't really think I can afford to do anything about that right now. All right, well. If I go to do this and then he V clicks in response, then I have to force and he has to force and he's going to win. But that's, I don't really have any other things to do here. Okay. Well, I guess that resolves. Does he, did he bring in stifles possibly? Because he could use one here. Where? Destroy target artifact. Alright, well I have to force, and then he's going to have to force back, or he could spell pierce back. Um, yeah, that's what he's doing. God, that's the worst sequence. I, yeah, I mean, he just had 
the perfect sequence there. <laughs> Seriously, I, what what am I doing? I, you know, I I don't know. And this deck's got to have something else to do there. But um, well, okay. I still got a one one. I guess I could attack you. <laughs> Now, if he just he just draws wasteland here, that, <laughs> if that's my big fear. Like, I could play our Stoneforge Mystic, get the sword, um, or I can just leave this stuff up. I think I have to try to resolve a brainstorm. Let's let's brainstorm and see if I can get another blue land. That this deck needs more lands in it. I, I seriously, um, well, well, half of this is completely useless. Um, I can't cast that anytime soon. At least I can shuffle that away next turn of Stoneforge Mystic. Um, and then I guess I will just draw. I really need to draw the Stoneforge Mystic next turn, so I'm going to put that on the top. I guess can't click it away or something. You could wait till my draw step, of course. Good lord. All right, we're waiting on him now. Yeah, I, I don't feel like uh, I, I do. I do believe that that blue white red Delver has some advantages being able to play Lightning Bolt, um, and that um, the the Esper version is probably a little better against uh, combo decks, um, and has a little bit of trouble with. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 